Hello, everyone. My name is Darcy McHale. I'm here from uh, ClinicConnects today to uh, overview our solution offering and uh, speak specifically to our integration with Wolf. So um, thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. I'll set to work in overviewing the solution offering. So um, my intention is to let you know a little bit about ClinicConnects, who we are, what we do, uh, how it relates, um, speak to automated patient engagement, uh, waiting room concierge and HQI, all of which are part of our core service offerings. And then um, I'll go so far as to um, demystify pricing and next steps should there be a level of interest to learn more about that. So um, really our solution offering is all about um, mass personalization um, on behalf of a provider to their patients. Um, quality improvement through the patient experience and then uh, operational excellence in really um, setting cost predictability, reducing burden, and uh, increasing ROI in the way that you're messaging and optimizing your calendars. So uh, a little bit about ClinicConnects. Uh, we've been around for nine years as a predominant player in the ambulatory space, providing uh, services to more than 5,000 uh, providers, so everything from GPs to specialists to family healthcare teams. Um, providing booking notifications, clinic cancellations, appointment reminders, the likes thereof, um, in the range of about 600,000 or more unique engagements a month. So on behalf of those providers to their patients, we're sending voice, email, or text notifications, letting them know about all those different events. Um, and so our portfolio encompasses about 80 different subspecialties. So, um, you know, uh, gastroenterologists, family healthcare teams, et cetera. Um, all this to say is that our portfolio of um, services from a breadth and scope of what we can message on and the complexities we can support is tremendous. Um, it, to date, we've sent a um, little north of 20 million unique engagements and, uh, and, and counting. So um, just as a quick note, of course, we are integration partners with uh, the TELUS team and their different EMRs. Um, PS Suite, MedAccess, of course, uh, have been mainstays and now good news for everyone on the phone. Um, it's about uh, the integration into, uh, into Wolf. So um, we'll state the obvious in saying that front end staff have a lot to manage. And um, that is from the full cycle of engaging with patients from before, so managing wait lists, booking notifications, reminding them of appointments, perhaps even cancellations, to uh, aligning with uh, supporting expectations in the clinic, uh, everything around the waiting room, so greeting patients, managing no-shows, and communicating wait times. And then, uh, of course, let's not forget the ongoing continuum of engagement for after uh, appointment recalls, health campaigns, patient survey, surveys, and preventative care uh, notices are all things that we support. So around the theme of patient journey and before, during, and after, we have uh, developed services to support the different requirements from an engagement standpoint. So um, what we'll do with this storyline in mind is go forward uh, on a patient journey and unpack each solution offering as they pertain to the different moment in time that uh, you're engaging with your patients on behalf of the providers. So it is all about automated patient engagement, um, reducing no-shows, in increasing clinic revenues through optimizing calendars, and really about lessening the burden on your staff so that they can do more meaningful things in the practice rather than uh, being on the phone or drafting emails. Um, so, of course, let's, uh, let's talk about the, the frontline staff that have to manage this and the burden that it's placed on them. Um, the way that uh, patient engagement is done today is fairly labor intensive and then it's done by phone. It's definitely not a 100% predictable and repeatable process. Um, it, uh, it takes a long time and is, uh, for the most part, fraught with opportunity for errors and omissions. Um, but without doing it, as it's a necessary evil, um, it, uh, it results in no-shows, and no-shows result in uh, less than optimized calendars and decreased revenues, et cetera. And um, if you don't do it, you also run the risk of uh, patient satisfaction. So uh, it's an important element in the way that you're managing your patient relationships. So our solution is really about reaching patients on any device at any time that is of their preference. 
So be it phone, email, or text, it's much more preferable as a patient to receive um, an appointment um, notification or booking notification at a time that makes sense. So getting it by way of uh, phone, email, or text uh, allows you to address it and um, action it in a time that works best for you as the provider and as the recipient patient. So um, it's all about integrating with the ER, uh, EMR to uh, optimize workflow through technology automation. Um, and so essentially what it sees is um, uh, Clinic Connects being that binding fiber between the EMR all the different reasons to engage with the patients and engaging with the patient and then putting a notable outcome back into the EMR. So really it's all about workflow and workflow really means anything that you can define as a starting point and an end point and all the steps that happen in between is a workflow and should you be able to define what the workflow is, we can map our solutions against that. Um, this just goes on to say with regards to mapping uh, our solution against your workflow it's not um, a, a, as rigid as an out-of-the-box product offering where you have to employ a new way of doing things. In fact, with regards to the 80 different subspecialties that I mentioned at the beginning of our conversation, um, that has resulted in a portfolio of uh, a lot of feature sets and functionalities. And so all this to say is that we can allow you to be as unique as you are today in managing this way for one thing versus another versus another, um, managing at different cadences, managing by way of different um, uh, modalities in the way that you're reaching out, and to bring that to bear using our technology. So uh, what I'm driving towards is you can do what you do today by way of manual process in um, mapping that against Clinic Connects' solution offering and completely automate the way that you're doing things. So uh, a little bit pitchy, but set it the way um, that you need it and then um, set it so you can forget it. So we can, of course, incorporate things like special messaging, location, items to bring, when to arrive, etc. associate policies. Uh, we can incorporate your telephone number so when uh, we call on your behalf through an automated attendant, it appears it's your telephone number, not ours. And um, certainly we can incorporate your branding, your logos, your coloration and your messaging. So it's about meeting your expectations and your preferences, but also allowing the patient on the other end to set their preferences as well. So um, you can find yourself in an environment where you're managing by way of uh, patient engagement voice notifications, and one of your patients may say, no, I prefer text. It allows the, the, the flexibility for you to employ a defined corporate strategy and allow the patient to be unique in the way that they get things done. So um, let's talk just a little bit more about workflow and why it's important. So if you found that you had a patient, um, maybe uh, like a specialist appointment where you've got multiple appointments in one day, um, should you not have a really well-defined workflow and a sophisticated solution that can um, do something um, other than sending three unique messages which are confusing as a recipient, you don't know why you have three messages for what you thought was one day of appointments, you may defer to the last one thinking that that's all you need to know, um, as opposed to with Clinic Connects, our technology, in fact, is sophisticated enough to roll up all those appointments into one succinct message, letting Chris know that he has multiple appointments on the 12th with Dr. Deshaies, first of which is at 1, second's at 120, and the other's at 2, and to arrive 15 minutes before the first appointment. So a much different uh, environment than um, simply a, a, a mass notification email system. Um, so I've stated this before and run the risk of being repetitive, but um, it's really a workflow that sees you schedule an appointment in your EMR, having us automatically send the notification, having the patient confirm uh, whether or, or not they're going to come, and then placing that back into the EMR. So what I'll do now is actually go forward and unpack that for you. So essentially, uh, the process would see the MOA schedule an appointment in the EMR. Um, Clinic Connects would send that appointment to the patient. Uh, the patient would either confirm or cancel. In this case, they would confirm, pressing one, and very quickly thereafter, they would receive a, um, a confirmation. And then what would happen is that it would be placed into the EMR by way of status. 
Um, so that you could see that, uh, that there was a confirmation, a cancellation, or a, a left message. So you know exactly what the status of your patient uh, notifications are. So just a little bit on messaging. Here's what some sample messaging might look like. Um, so we went through the text uh, message and you got to see what that looks like. Here's really essentially what an email message might look like. So you can see that we've incorporated branding, coloration. Um, there are calls to action, so three in fact, uh, for callback, for confirmation, for a cancellation. There's contact information. There's all kinds of different stuff that we can do to um, incorporate your specific messaging. So here's what the construct of a simple script message might look like. So you can see that there's an intro message, um, having the recipient press one to confirm that they're in fact live and on the phone, um, and then the unpacking of the message along with a, um, a confirmation. So that's what some of the messaging looks like. Let's talk about some of the customers that actually use this and what type of uh, ROI they've seen. So the University of Alberta Family Medicine um, had four uh, academic family medicine center locations providing cutting edge care for their families using med access as an EMR. They had problems uh, in that they had long waits and high demand and they were experiencing as high as a 8.5% uh, no-show rate which was uh, problematic. So in deploying ClinicNX uh, for automated appointment reminders via voice, text and email, they increase patient satisfaction, so the patients are uh, reporting that they appreciate the convenience of getting the reminder on the phone and responding at their convenience. Um, they like moving up on the wait list if there's a cancellation, and the system saves them a lot of time in reaching out to the patients. Most importantly is that they experience a 60% reduction in no-shows, which allow them to optimize their, uh, their calendar and maximize revenues. So um, that was all about the before the appointment journey. Let's talk about the in the appointment experience. And that has a lot to do with our waiting room concierge solution offering, which is meant to improve the patient experience by setting and aligning their expectations. So the first thing that is, uh, of course, well known is that managing expectations and reducing uh, interruptions on the frontline staff uh, really means less frustration and the waiting room is the first point of patient experience and the first point for opportunity to uh, either set and surpass expectations or miss them and um, you know have a, a, a less than than, than uh, intended better uh, um, experience for, for, for the patient so um, let's just go forward on the basis that 30 minutes is the average wait time spent in a waiting room I suspect it's longer but 30 minutes is what we're going to go forward with um, the waiting room concierge is a fully automated um, technology that integrates with the EMR to be able to do uh, three different things. The first of which is to provide a wait time um, that you can display. You can display it as a uh, as, as a wait time on your on your website, letting people know what the present wait time is in the waiting room uh, in real time. The second of which is a display, which lets people know where they reside in a provider queue. And the third of which is a, um, an extension of our technology that allows people to, should the wait time be long enough, um, leave the, uh, the, the clinic or the office and receive a message when it's time for them to come back. So just going through the different services, the um, wait time display is a web widget. Again, it can be displayed on the wait time on your website. It can be displayed uh, at point of entry in your office on a web-enabled device. Um, but really, it's a sophisticated um, algorithm that is learning um, based on the present flow of your clinic, what the projected wait time is, and then updating it in real time. Um, alternatively, most wait times are displayed are through best guess determination, updated when convenient. So you can really have some deltas in what the actual wait time is versus what you're communicating and displaying. Um, the uh, wait time queue display um, allows you to create a queue for the uh, wait room as a whole or by providers. And so you can set expectations when uh, patients come in and they uh, book into their appointment. They can see where they are in the queue. They can see that they're moving up the queue and they can see that there are other queues existing. So should someone arrive after them and be seen before them, they'll be keenly aware of the fact that that's not their provider and not to worry or go disturb the staff that they will get the uh, notification. 
Um, so that's what that looks like. Um, based on the length of time in the queue and based on your business rules, you can't afford your patient the ability to sort of raise their hand and say, you know what, there's a Starbucks across the street or a Sobeys in the parking lot. I'd like to do my shopping. Can you please send me a text message when it's time to come back? And that's uh, essentially the way the service works. So um, just a little bit of clarification around the queues. There are multiple layouts, so you can have multiple queues on one screen. You can also um, edit and style um, to match your branding. So you can um, put the wait time at, at, at sort of the focal point, and then you could have different queues running. There really is a, a number of different um, formats that are available to you and you can really stylize for yourself. Uh, something like this is something we see quite often where you've got a queue, you have uh, a wait time, and then you have some type of call to action or marketing for lack of a better term. So it's really quite customizable. Um, South Bank Medical Center uses our uh, waiting room concierge technology and um, they were receiving calls and were being asked how long the wait time was and it was really disruptive and taking quite a long time for them to sort of um, manage that. They've been operating in Ottawa for 25 years. They had 12 physicians, over 1,000 patient visits a week, um, and walk-ins as well. So the problem was long wait times, no clear expectations, constant interruptions to the frontline staff being asked to quantify how long it might take for the, uh, the wait. So what they did is they displayed um, their wait time and uh, to really positive feedback. I mean, the last one was uh, the last the last one uh, message here I'll call on is that the clinic sent this person a text 15 minutes before their appointment so they didn't have to wait in the wait room and that the doctors were always very good. So um, really positive sentiment, really positive experience, really easy to employ technology that delivers meaningful results to um, your patients. So the last technology uh, solution offering or suite that I wanted to go through has a lot to do with after the appointment and um, managing engagement after the, uh, the, the, the patient provider uh, visit. So um, it's really about higher response rates and surveys, more accurate survey data, increasing patients' medical literacy and improved practice operations. So what we're intending to say here and what you likely will know is that it's not easy and uh, is incredibly time consuming to gather, analyze and act on patient data. It's just there's no simple way of doing it. And so what we wanted to do and what we have done is we've developed a patient experience and engagement platform that integrates into the EMR that automatically surveys patients post-appointment. So a much more timely and meaningful experience when you receive a survey um, that's close to when you had your last visit and maybe even more so really well aligned with conditionality or uh, relevant to what you've seen the, the provider about. Um, it allows you to send health promotion campaigns, analyze results, and compare with peers. So data insights as to um, how your practice is doing, how you're doing versus peers in your practice or in your region, et cetera. And then it allows you to sort of um, set goals and drive towards those goals through, through um, some type of methodical, really well-defined approach. So here's just a bit of a... Um, an overview as to what it might look like. So this is to Mrs. Watts. Um, she's received this email as a follow-up. Here's some information that um, she can self-select based on her age group, what would be most important to her. And then here's a call to action for her to take a patient experience uh, survey. So this is a really quick survey, um, a few quick questions about her experience, some feedback, and then um, what you get as a result is a, a dashboard insight into this data. So you can look at by provider, you can look by all providers, you can filter by, um, by patient age, postal code, gender, medical condition, language, et cetera. You can see, um, you know, really how they feel about accessibility, um, about continuity of care. All these different um, met metric points are completely customizable. You can see that um, how you're faring versus versus how you uh, really wanted to fare, or what you're setting as a um, a next um, a next iteration goal. You really quickly get an insight as to what those matrix look like, and from those, you can uh, create yourself calls to action where you capture that snippet of data in real time, make notes, contextualize around it, and then uh, make a plan moving forward from there. 
So um, again, here's a trajectory where you can see what your last score was, what your peers were, uh, what the difference was, and you can set yourself a new target. You can set yourself the, the frequency uh, and cadence in which you're, you're, you're reaching out to your patients for this data. Um, and then this automatically moves forward and does that for you so you don't have to manage that. Uh, ultimately, providing data in a format that you can work with and that you likely have to submit uh, to, to a jurisdictional body. So um, Manitoulin Center, a family health team, um, used our HQI product. It um, really had a notable um, impact on, on, on the way that they were surveying to the point where they're up at about 85% response rate. Um, so they're better equipped to measure patient satisfaction and able to build a comprehensive quality improvement plans as a result of our technology. So putting it all together on a patient journey, um, you really see an environment where a patient named Jill, uh, in this particular instance, receives a referral from a receptionist about a visit uh, three months from today, immediately Clinic Connects um, calls Jill to let her know about a referral visit. A few days before, we send her um, a, a reminder. Jill checks the wait time and sees where she is in the queue, sees the physician. A couple of days later, um, receives a net promoter score survey. Uh, a number of weeks later, Clinic Next reaches out um, and surveys to check on uh, Jill's progress, at which point you can have meaningful um, data about Jill, how she's doing, and what you might want to do next from a provider standpoint. So. You can see that um, the same path sees, of course, the MOA um, uh, you know, still doing what they do today, the physician still providing care, but there's an, a lot of workflow automation being um, provided by ClinicX from a booking notification to a point reminder to the waiting room concierge tool um, through the HQI on the ongoing engagement. So before, during, and after, and that continuum, ClinicX uh, has workflow solutions to map all the way through. So the service outcomes to um, uh, beneficiaries are not just to one, it's in fact to, to many. Uh, the patient with regards to reduced wait times and, and uh, better prepared, more informed and communicated with on their preferred device, the MOAs, workflow without any of the work, reducing patient complaints and redeploying their time towards more meaningful tasks in the practice. The providers, it's really about reducing um, no-shows higher patient retention, optimizing schedules, and having better informed and prepared patients so that you can have more meaningful uh, patient uh, engagements and, and higher um, quality of outcome. So from a business standpoint, of course, it's about increasing uh, profits and productivity. It's, uh, again, about patient retention, positive impact on your brand, and uh, an adherence to some type of best practice and structured workflow. So from a pricing perspective, it's probably what you're looking at next to, to, to understand about our services. Um, the patient engagement solution offering for uh, the suite of reminders, that being uh, booking notifications, clinic cancellations, appointment reminders, and the likes thereof, it's uh, transactional. You pay for what you use. It's 35 cents per transaction, per transaction cycle, and a cycle um, is any one of the following things, uh, three phone call attempts, including a voice message left, one email or one text message, and from, um, from really uh, like an ROI or where does it pay for itself standpoint, if you look at, if you were provided with 200 appointments a month to which you leverage ClinicNex for, your cost of ClinicNex would be $70 in reducing no-shows, simply reducing one no-show, uh, the system would have paid for itself. Um, from the waiting room concierge standpoint, this is a subscription-based pricing model. For the wait time display, it's $200 per clinic. For the queue, it's $40 per provider. And then the leave and return messaging, that's transactional. Of course, not everyone will use it, so you only pay for what you use there as well. And that, again, is, um, is $0.35 cents per, per cycle. So the HQI pricing is tiered based on your profile of roster patients. You should be able to identify where you live. In this, uh, in this pricing grid. Um, and from uh, an implementation standpoint and what the requirements are, essentially uh, you would raise your hand and say, uh, Clinic Connect, tell us, we're really quite interested in this, uh, we'd like to move forward. Uh, we engage with you, we go through a uh, workflow discovery call, more or less a um, implementation process where we ask you to define your requirements, your workflow, 
Um, from there, we map our services against that. We spin it up and we deliver it to you within um, two to four weeks. There is a one-time fee implementation uh, for the um, for, for for setting up the clinic, um, which is uh, five hundred dollars. So uh, great news as a result of um, the launch and to celebrate uh, the fact that uh, we now have the API integration. We're going to waive the workflow fee and uh, and simply provide that implementation at no cost for you. Um, so uh, just a little bit more about um, you know uh, those who have been using the Wolf EMR, the fact that we're able to customize and accommodate the many services requirements. Uh, and their clients are arriving better prepared, saving them um, hours of time is a testimonial from uh, someone uh, in Wolf right now. So that's fantastic. Um, it's been really great presenting and speaking to you today. Uh, we hope that um, our services are clear to you, that you find them compelling, that you're able to rationalize the ROI, and that we'll hear from you. So um, either reach out to uh, Clinic Connects directly, sales at clinicconnects.com or the telephone number on your screen, or um, contact your TELUS um, representative to learn more about our services. Thank you so much.